So, you want to transfer abilities from Warframe to Warframe. You want to unlock the helmet system, but you don't know how to get it and how to level it up. Well, your friendly neighborhood gaming weasel is going to show you in today's video. So, keep on watching and find out how you can get to the helmet system. And also the helmet invigoration system. A couple of things that you need to know. First of all, you need to be master rank 8 to unlock the helmet system. You have, you have to have Deimos unlocked and completing the Heart of Deimos quest. And once you have done that, you can gather some resources, played some bounties and reached rank 3 with the family, Entrati family on um, the Deimos. You will be able to buy the helmet system from Sun. So when you go to the Necrolisk, fast travel to Sun, browse wares, and right here you're gonna see the helmet segment blueprint. Uh, you need a couple of resources. Purple Velocipods are, I guess, the most tricky ones to get. You need to tranquilize Velocipods for this, but other than that, it's pretty much plain and simple. Same goes with the helmet invigoration system, which I'll explain in this video as well, because they go with each other very, very good. So leaving our necklace and show you guys where the helmet system is going to be inside of your spaceship but before i do uh subscribe would be greatly greatly appreciated and also a like if you enjoy the content only sadly two percent of you guys are subscribed so that would be really really good uh if you guys subscribe i didn't know if you actually knew this but you get a free little weasel pet uh when you do subscribe so the helmet system it is right here inside of this infested room mine is called bob and let's explain everything that you possibly need to know. You gain levels, I'm at uh, 15th, which is the maximum. You gain levels by feeding the helmet system. Uh, and you also get levels by subsuming Warframes. Subsuming war base Warframes, only base Warframes, not the Prime Variants, will rank up your helmet system. Uh, subsuming basically means sacrificing that Warframe and gaining, or I guess, being able to... Uh, use one of his abilities on other uh, warframes so right here you might be seeing air burst decoy dispensary uh and also let's say uh mark no not that one let's see another one molt uh for example those are warframes that i've sacrificed and i have gotten their abilities to put on different warframes some assumed abilities can be put on either normal warframes or primed warframes it does not matter you can put it in either one slot of each warframe so you can put you know, let's say a burst on let's say severgoth in his four, first to fourth slot so it doesn't really matter which slot it is and you can put it into config a b or c so it really depends on uh, where you want to have it now i cannot subsume sadly severgoth because i did subsume uh garuda right now but as you can see you have a 24 hour waiting period and after this period is ended you will be able to use that ability and apply it on different types of warframes uh, at first you're gonna have three subsumable slots which basically means you're gonna be able to only uh subsume three warframes and no more at the beginning at rank four you're gonna get 10 more slots and then at rank i think it is 10 you're gonna be able to uh, i guess subsume infinite amounts of warframes so feeding uh, the helmet system how does this function uh let's go to for example calx right here and what do these arrows mean well green means he hasn't been fed and hasn't eaten this material for a long long time and he really craves it like you know for example you didn't eat a pizza for a month you really want pizza that's the helmet system basically he is human but a lot of people don't say he is but he definitely is he has a mouth so human so let's say i'm gonna feed him some gallon rods now as you can see it's gonna have no icon anymore basically that means he's you know indifferent he he, he doesn't want it but he doesn't mind it uh, red means he he already has been fed down he doesn't want it and as you can see the percentage is much lower than for example if i were to feed him hexanon as you can see uh, this go, grows up to 73 percent and this one goes to 89 so i'm gonna feed him some rubical diodes and then move on here let's feed him some circuits as you can see it's gonna bring it up to at least 50 percent and then let's find let's do some control modules there you go and then feed him right here feed him that and feed him some of that so there you go once you have done feed him all the resources that you have and you will see your rank slowly going up now uh, as i said you can gain rank by feeding it or subsuming warframes and uh, basically that is how the helmet system functions now uh, the helmet system 
also has the, the invigoration system. So what that basically means, there is a daily or I guess weekly, sorry, a rotation of three different Warframes that can be invigorated and increased uh, their stats or or just some stats of weapons. So for example, right here we have Hydroid, Grendel, and Loki. Now this. Uh, requires i think mash rank 13 or 15 somewhere at that point uh, and also mash uh, and uh, rank 5 with the uh, family on necrolix i kind of confused myself there and as you can see it's going to give you random stats like community status effects 250 percent secondary damage and a 100 percent ability duration and parkour velocity for loki once you have subsumed or sorry invigorated 10 warframes you will be able to replace one of these three warframes with a warframe of your choosing and apply the uh, certain uh, core or i guess the corresponding bonus of that uh, replaced warframe so if i were to replace uh, let's say grendel with uh, let's say volt he would be getting 250 percent primary damage and also sprint speed so basically that is it the helmet system is, is really fun really cool it makes uh, good warframes even better and it makes bad warframes good and sort of usable depending on the abilities uh, you do have to keep in mind that some abilities have a lesser value or, and are a little bit reduced than its base counterpart so for example on my revenant i have subsumed uh, roar instead of his fourth ability and as you can see it says you know altered diminished damage uh, increase uh, grants all nearby uh, warframes increased damage for a short duration but as you can see it only goes up to 104 percent and my power strength is at 348 so keep that in mind so some abilities may have uh you know have been altered a little bit so they don't boost up the damage or abilities or you know whatever to to abnormal its amount so Basically, that is it. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, do leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more awesome Gaming Weasel content. And I will see you guys on the next one. The Gaming Weasel, over and out.